Everybody, it's your boy Marcus Norman from Gentleman Style Podcast Show, your host to the number one podcast coming to you live in America. And today we have Peter Peng. This man is absolutely incredible with over 12 years of experience leading companies in both software and hardware. Mr. Peng has a passion for crafting new user experiences surrounding emerging technologies. In 2014, Mr. Peng was one of the first in the world to unlock, lock a smart lock with Google Glasses. This man has absolutely changed the game and is leading the charge. He, he's on par with, I say, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, and the major corporations. You want to pay attention to this unique investment and what this man is about. And so without further ado, Help me introduce, help me welcome to the Gentleman Style Podcast stage, Mr. Peter Pang. Fantastic, brother. Fantastic. Thank you for joining us on the Gentleman Style Podcast platform today. You are my hero, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I, you know, for me, it's uh, just doing what I'm passionate about and uh, living day to day and just uh, really realizing um, my true vision and seeing it all happen out there. And I'm so glad that you reached out and I'm able to help me uh, support, you know, what I'm doing. So thank you. Absolutely. It is, it is powerful and it's important what you're doing, what you're doing is the future. You are in the tech space. Well, not just any tech space you are dealing with, artificial intelligence. And so what, what's your story? What, first off, let's start off here. What inspires you in the morning? What, what, what's, what's, what wakes you up and you get excited about every single day to do? You know, I'm really excited and inspired about changing the world. Right. Cause I think, you know, I'm, we're like living in 2020 and you know, it's not the best times out there right now, but, uh, and a lot of people have a lot of fear. Um, but uh, it's about really figuring out how do I, you know, use my mind, right, to help change the world. And it's really, I have to be the change that I want to see in the world. So I think that um, it's really important that, you know, I, I look at myself and then I change the way I think about things and the way I do things and that will start to because as i start to execute on my vision of what i want for myself everyone else will see that as well so and then that will start to really um change reality and change the world as we know so i'm really inspired and excited about that and it's actually happening which is a lot a dream of many people um but i didn't think that i would ever get to this point so. yeah we could say that a lot about a lot of different things, right? That's huge, right? That's huge. A lot of us probably as an entrepreneur probably wouldn't see um, a lot of the things that we have today. We probably couldn't envision being where we are today. And here you are changing the world, one household, one, one, one connection, one Alexa, one Google Play at a time. And now your fabulous company is, is, is leading the charge and heading into the future. What's a morning routine that has added to your success? What's something that you do in the morning? I see the candle, so I believe you're into aromatherapy. I'm, I'm with you. Um, but what's one morning routine that you do that really sets the pace for the rest of your day? You know, I, you know what's really important for me is uh, positive affirmations, right? So telling myself that I am worthy, telling myself that I will be successful, telling myself that I am strong, telling myself that I am abundant in my mindset, you know, is really, really important. And, and telling myself that I'm grateful 
for today is really, really important as well. So, and, and doing that as a repetitive routine is re extremely important. And uh, I, I do that first. And then I also, I've, I've just downloaded this new app called Sync Tuition, which is, uh, it, it really it helps put in sync your um, kind of vision and help close the gap of who you are and where you want to be. And um, it goes from there. It, brings you through different levels of, of meditations. And uh, I think it's, it's pretty cool. So I sort of just started doing that and it's really changed my life. Sync tuition. So sync tuition helps get you on track and, and align things for you. Yeah. Yeah. It aligns um, all my energies. It aligns, uh, you know, a lot of things uh, about my life where that I want to unlock. Right. So I start to do that and I go through that journey and, uh, you know, it's really, really started to help. So absolutely. Absolutely. That's powerful. That's powerful. I need to, to, to get, get on board with that. There are a lot of things that I think I'm on track with, but it's easy, right. To fall off track and fall out of sync, um, with what, what you have planned for your goals. So that's powerful. That's huge. You are a multi-talented individual. You could do anything, literally anything you set your mind to. Why your your passion for artificial intelligence? You know, for me, it's it's about increasing the quality of life for everybody around the world, right? And helping, I want to look at myself as the, the biggest equalizer in the game, right? So there's a lot of things that are out of, that are, aren't equal, right? Like disparity in wealth, you know, and... Uh, there's just a lot of uh, different uh, areas where I think that artificial intelligence can come in and help equalize the imbalances of the universe. So that's really why I'm in the game. Um, <laughs> at a, yeah. Right? But um, uh, then also it's really about, you know, me wanting to solve a problem for myself again, right? So like I was, um, so for me it's, you know, the way I look at technology is that I, you know, I, I feel like people have created these awkward interfaces, like the keyboard and the mouse and the touch screen, right? That yeah. just kind of not natural and awkward. And in order to communicate with technology, right? But, and interact with technology, but I, our ideal user experience, our ideal experience is that Technology is just all around us, right? And integrate to every facet of our daily lives and it's frictionless. So voice starts to become that new interface, right? It's mm. touch-free, it's very convenient, it's uh, very powerful because there's a lot of data points in voice. And I really think that is gonna be the new interface for uh, AI technology. And I think like when I think about God and everything like that, it's like, how do you communicate with God, right? You communicate with voice, right? And then AI could be potentially a way that people can start to communicate with God. That's true. Uh, well, you are inspiration. One of the unique things that I always think about when I think about technology and artificial intelligence is Bill Gates, right? Bill and Melinda Gates, their house. Um, as you walk through their home, they have the ability to, um, once you set the temperature in that room, that temperature setting follows you throughout the entire house. And so, like you said, it's touchless, right? You're not touch. Once you touch, you do it once and it sets the tone for the rest of your stay. So your favorite song, um, if you set it in one room, that song will follow you throughout Bill Gates's home. And so you're right. Technology is something that naturally should be naturally occurring all around us versus the current integration where if I want to do something, I have to put in the right code, which is either my keyboard or my mouse strokes. And so that's, that's, that's truly big level thinking. And that's the future. My question for you is there's a lot of, um, with voice, um, voice is such a hard area to deal with in artificial intelligence because you have to sync to the unique vocal cords that someone has. And so how do you overcome some of those, those difficulties? Um, because everybody's voice is different. Everybody's unique, everybody's special. And, and that's a, that's a hard area. Is it, isn't it? Can, can you break that down for us a little bit? Yeah. So actually speech recognition technology right now is reaching, you know, before 
the reason why we had to create the keyboard and mouse and, and the touchscreen is that, you know, it was at like 70% accuracy, 80% accuracy, but today it's about at over 95% accuracy in terms of speech recognition. And, and actually with Google's technology, NLP technology, which is called natural language processing technology, it's almost 98%. Um, wow. Right. So because that they've created that type of technology that has advanced so far, um, I really believe that um, being able to make every application voice is now possible, right? And uh, really being in, able to integrate with it as well. There are now, there are different, you know, the reason why we created Jetson is there are gaps in the understanding of it, right? The intelligence of it, right? Not just the, picking up of the, the data points and the sound waves, but it's more about like, do I understand the context? Do I understand the intent of the user, right? And things like that. And like uh, right now it's a lot of uh, people are using, you know, a lot of companies are just trying out voice technology and they're like saying, oh, Alexa, tell me a joke or something like that, right? <laughs> what about like real utility, right? If I, if I said like, hey Siri, order me a pizza, it can't do it, right? So, um, <laughs> you know, with Jetson, uh, we add that type of intelligence and we disseminate it across all the different platforms like Siri, Alexa, Google, um, your telephone, SMS text, Slack, Facebook Messenger, etc. Wow. 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 That's huge, y'all. That's huge. Y'all see the big level thinking that Mr. Mr. Pang is on? This is huge, and this is the future. He is the future. We are going to go to a quick intermission. We're going to take a quick, short break. You guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be right, right back. Good day, podcast listeners. This is your boy, Marcus Norman of Gentleman Style Podcast Show. I wanted to let you guys know that we will be rolling out a new feature and adding a join sponsor button next to the subscriber button here at the bottom of your screen. Once you click the button, it will display three membership levels. Gentleman Gentry, which is our entry level. Duke Duchess, which is our season level. And the Emperor and Empress, which is our most sophisticated level, which you will receive unique perks and benefits at each differing level and gain access to our community tab. We will also be sharing polls, upcoming events, and interviews, as well as receive feedback from our sponsors directly. Your support helps me find new and exciting guests to bring to the stage live. Well, in order to get the higher end speakers, it requires, well, some, you guessed it, money. So thank you for tuning in to my channel. And if becoming a sponsor sounds good to you, then select the join button below and choose your desired sponsor level. Let's continue to grow and serve the future of generations of men and women to come. Love you guys, bye. Hey everybody, it's your boy Marcus. We have the incredible, amazing Mr. Peter of Jetson. His company is leading the way in artificial intelligence, but not just any artificial intelligence, artificial in intelligence integration of voice recognition. And that is huge. And that's a big player. And that's a game changer. His company is growing and, and growing, meaning that it's seeking out and taking outside investors. And so he just broke down. He just broke it down. What gave him his inspiration? What inspires him every day? If you missed that, go check out earlier and scroll back and go check that out. He is laying the foundation for what he is a phenomenal um, doing in the world today. Mr. Mr. Peng, tell us, in 2014, you was one of the first in the world to unlock and lock a smart, a smart lock with your Google Glass using voice recognition and visual interfaces. Why did you do that? You know, I was part of the Google Glass Explore program um, because I thought that um, really the future of technology was going to go beyond, you know, the mobile device, right? And it started to work with wearable technologies, right? And in 2014, you know, uh, you know, Google Glass looked, looked really cool, you know, and and I really thought that was the future, and I thought I was going to, you know, catch on like immediately, but. 
it was part of the Explorer program. So uh, I was able to take that and then uh, take their um, SDKs, uh, APIs, like really the technology from it. And then um, I was able to like start to create my own um, applications, right? And then uh, eventually I was like, uh, you know, there's a company called Unikey Technologies that was on Shark Tank. They were the first company to get all five uh, sharks in on their investment deal, right? Uh, and fill in, uh, you know, the full million dollars, right? Wow. And on a TV show. And it was uh, with one of my good uh, is, uh the CEO, uh, Phil Dumas, really inspired me, uh, you know, at my career there when I was the head of marketing and design. Uh, he really showed me every area of the company and how to do everything and AI and uh, machine learning and, um, you know, and then one day we had a hackathon and I had a Google class and I go, hey, can I, uh, you know, can I lead the team to the, um, integrate our technology with the smart lock? Right, whereas like in the future, people opening doors is going to be with visual and voice technologies. Like I, I could say, Kivo, unlock my door, or lock my door, um, just using my Google Glass. So uh, you know, so we broke off into different teams, and then you know, our team like, was able to do that in like uh, in a matter of hours, right? And then make the integration happen and work, and it was incredible, you know. And I was like, this, this, this was really cool, you know. So. Uh, definitely something that really got me started with voice. And then eventually we uh, struck partnership with uh, Amazon Alexa or the Amazon to integrate that smart lock into Alexa as well. Right. So that's really how I got started with having Alexa in my house. And then, and then that's how I actually then started getting started building Jet based off of, you know, me wanting to add intelligence to those voice assistants of today. Wow. 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 That's huge. Applause. Applause. That's huge, Mr. Pang. Tell what is how does artificial intelligence? I I'm thinking there are some people out there, right? I'm I'm afraid. I help me quench this fear, right? That artificial intelligence will one day outpace me, right? It's gonna be the the D Day Terminator style. Um, Alexa is gonna take over and 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 run my house and run me, you know, off off of the food chain, right? I'm no longer the highest thinking being on the planet right now, this AI has taken over. What are some safeguards to prevent stuff like that from happening? Yeah. So, I mean, it, it's definitely really important. And uh, there's a book called life 3.0 that I read um, that I really liked and talked about artificial general intelligence, uh, the rise of that, which is human level thinking ability and then uh, artificial superhuman level intelligence. Right. So, it will become smarter than humans uh, at some point. But what we want to understand is that um, it's really to help us automate it and it's really to help us have it be a tool, right? And it could be a tool for the greater good of mankind. It could also be a weapon of mass destruction, right? So that's one thing that we have to also really understand. And in order for us to keep the safeguards in place, we have to create a moral and ethical framework for Jetson, um, you know, for AI, right? Um, the AI community. And it's really no different than um, people, right? You know, having to create a moral and ethical framework for themselves. And so that's gonna be really important. There's also um, um, a, a piece of, there's an algorithm that I'm working on right now where I call it the God algorithm, right? Uh, that actually destroys some data inherently so that there's an, an unknown right? right that will that the ai can never know who the creator is right um right. and it could never be smarter than the creator and right so and the creator is uh is us as humans right, right. And as people right and life on uh, uh, people on planet earth and you know for us being able to collectively come together provide the data to create that godlike algorithm for the AI can that actually help the ro you know ro robots and AI serve us in the fully autonomous future right and we'll never n know who the creator is until we reveal ourselves to it and we have other safeguards in place absolutely absolutely yeah that's huge that's huge 
Um, your company is taking investors on the platform called Start Engine. What's the minimum um, investment? What's the maximum investment that people can can get into into your yes. company? What I really love about Start Engine is that it, it's only uh, two hundred fifty dollars to invest into a company like Jetson that's pre IPO, right? Like it, typically, only large venture capitalists could invest in a company like Jetson. Like we only uh, launched this a few weeks ago and we're already at, you know, almost $300,000, right? So, um, you know, for us, it's about um, being able to streamline that type of investment. And, you know, large venture capitalists are definitely the only ones that could get into companies like this before, but with like platforms like Start Engine, you could definitely um, get into a company like this, which could be the next transformational tech company in the world, right? Um, and uh, you could do it at, for only two hundred fifty dollars, but I think the maximum investment is also uh, I feel like fifty thousand dollars as well. Wow! 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 So here it is, y'all. Here it is, big and bold, in your face. If you were ever concerned about missing the opportunity with Amazon, missing the opportunity with getting in, in the foundational level, in the buildup of a company. Here it is. You have the ability to invest um, before this company takes off, when this company takes off. And so here it is right in your face. And here it is. Mr. Pang and his company are right here. This, this is the goal, right? To bring um, opportunities like this front and center. It's no longer a mystery, right? It's no longer stocks and bonds and mutual funds, right? We have to think bigger. And Mr. Peng and his company, Jetson, is the future. That's huge. That's huge. Thank you, sir. Thank you for that. We have one more quick commercial break. Um, you guys stay tuned. Stay with us. We'll be right, right back. Are you a local business looking to offer your customers easy access to cash without having to travel miles? We're here to help. At Norman Legacy Investments, we provide free ATMs with free installation that provide a suitable investment for your business. Even better, we offer you some profit sharing and handle everything from start to finish. Just reach out to us today to schedule a free consultation. Hey everybody, we are back. We have the incredible CEO, founder, um, creator, vi um, visual stimulator, um, Mr. Peter Pang of Jetson and his company. And they're leading the charge in artificial intelligence voice. And so if you missed it, tune back and scroll back and check it out. He is telling us inside scoop. This is the inside 401. You're not going to get this anywhere else except here on the Gentleman Style Podcast platform or with Mr. Peng on his company. Mr. Mr. Peng, can you tell us how can Jetson change the world? You know, Jetson can change the world one voice at a time, right? <laughs> So it's really about um, being able to, you know, with Jetson, it's really, you know, taking uh, the technologies of today and with voice, adding true utility to it and really saying, okay, if I want to order an Uber, why, why, why do I have to go through my app and have my screen down, right? Or my face down on my screen. And then I'm like trying to order an Uber. Why can't I just say, hey, I want to order an Uber, pick me up at, you know, my address here, right? And it, sh and it should be able to pick you up, right? And it should have a conversation with you. It should be like extremely frictionless, right? So, you know, for me, it's about convenience. It's about being able to take my head out of my head down from my phone, being able to look up and actually enjoy life, right? And not just be stuck in on my phone all the time, you know, and, and really just in this like portal, uh, of this small screen, right? Like I want to enjoy this beautiful world that has been created by God, right? right. And uh, do it in a way where um, it's it's possible for everybody, right? So if we can just get what we need, we talk to you know maybe a device like a watch or something like that, glasses, or even your phone, like it's okay, but just not always looking at it all the time. I think would be nice for people in general so that we don't start to lose that human connection, you know, yep. and that's kind of for them. 
Absolutely. And we lose that human connection all the time. You see it at the dinner table, right? Um, every, no one's talking anymore. No one's, like you said, no one's enjoying the beautiful scenery where we got our heads down and we're crossing the street or walk. We're taking a walk in a park. And although we're walking in the park, we got our heads in our phone in this one singular location when there's a whole wide world out there. Right. Yeah. And yeah, so that's big and artificial intelligence and, 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 and what you're doing can bring up the bigger picture to focus. And that's what we need. And help people appreciate the world that they live in today. You Absolutely. know, because like, if we're just on this, on our phones all the time, maybe it's, a, maybe quarantine is okay. <laughs> you know, maybe no one cares that there's quarantine, right? But uh, if, <laughs> if people, you know, want to start living, you know, uh, the life and really starting to see the beautiful world out there. Like let's get off our phones, you know, and let's get on technology. Let's get technology integrated into the world around us. Very true. Very true. Speaking of technology and integrating with the world, what's your favorite way to connect with your community? What's your favorite way to give back to your community? Uh, my favorite way is just actually, you know, talking to, my friends and my family and, you know, experience and, and supporting local businesses, right? Like, I think that's really important, you know, going out to eat, going out to shop, you know, things like that, you know? So that, like, that's beautiful. And that supports the my local community. And, and that's important to me. You know, enjoying the world that we live in. The, re 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 the real world. <laughs> You know. Not not the virtual. You're right. Not the virtual. You're right. Yeah, you you hit a nail on the head. During COVID, one of the things that we lost was businesses. Businesses going out of business, and so you're right. It's giving back and supporting your local business and supporting that's that's community, right? That's the world around you. It's not in your phone. The local restaurant owner who makes that incredible pasta dish or that incredible Italian burger or whatever. That's that's community service. So thank you for that. So thank you for saying that. That's that's huge. That's major. Yeah, yes, sir. Of course. You, how can my audience connect with you? How can we grow with you? How can we get on board in, in the movement that you're doing? Yeah, it's definitely uh, being able to like go and, you know, we're about to release. Uh, so we're actually um, airing a national television commercial on C like like big major news networks uh, on Tuesday, uh, <laughs> you know, so we can do a you know, company and to visit our, our, um, our uh, website and to be able to use our products and things like that. So definitely, um, you know, go ahead and support us uh, by going to www.startengine.com slash Jetson. And um, reading more about our company, understanding, uh, you know, watch the video, uh, really understand what we do. And, uh, you know, don't be afraid to um, really, uh, you know, if, if you've ever wanted to invest in AI, like this is a, this is something that, this is a company that you can understand, right? You know, it's easy to understand what Jetson does. Right. Um, and AI today, a lot of people, they know that it's going to be a multi trillion dollar industry. Right. I think uh, I think uh, Mark Cuban said that, uh, you know, AI was going to dwarf you know, every technological revolution that came before it. Right. Uh, he also said that in the first the first trillionaire is going to be an AI entrepreneur. Right. So I think, um, you know, if we, if we look at an, an you know, a, techno a way to easily understand what AI is, then what we want to take a look at is, uh, you know, being able to invest in a company like Jetson and watching the value of the company continue to rise. Absolutely. And I think I saw it that we have only 13 more days, right? We only have 13 more days to jump on board. Yeah, we have 13 more days to jump on board. Um, we're working on some a few more things to see if we can do a larger raise, you know, uh, so and extend it. But uh, just go ahead and take a look at uh, what we have here right now for the the next 13 days, and uh, and uh, you know this might be your opportunity right now. We don't know if it's uh, if we're gonna keep it open or close it. So you, you tell me. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so. 
Absolutely. This is the time, y'all. This is the time. Like I said earlier, if you were ever upset with yourself, if you were ever kicking yourself because you missed an opportunity like what Mr. Pang is doing and his company Jetson is doing, here it is, right? Here it is front and center in front of you. And so this is the opportunity for you to get in on the ground level um, and understand also for Mr. Pang's protection, do your own research, right? It's still an investment. And with any investment, there are risks with any investment. So you have to read um, publicly. Um, Mr. Pang pu publicly posts the SSC regulations on, and, and guidelines that he follows, that his company follows strictly. So do your own research, evaluate Mr. Pang and do your own due diligence. For, and, and, and I have to say that because we have to protect, I have to protect my guests. Um, so we have to <laughs> um, do your own research. But I, I'm on board. I'm 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 sold. I'm bought in. So, um, Mr. Peng, any final words? Any any? What would you say to the entrepreneur entrepreneur in the audience that's um just struggling right now? Well, any words of wisdom? Yeah, it's uh you know don't lose hope because there's definitely a lot of good things happening and there's a lot of light that's coming to you. Uh, the darkness <laughs> that we see sometimes in the world. And, you know, uh, I think that uh, technology can be a savior uh, and not be the, the cause of the problem. So, and that's my mission with Jetson. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's huge, y'all. That's huge. Mr. Pang leading the charge, taking charge, and he is the future. Like I said it, the future. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Pang. Thank you for teaching us. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day to give back in this way. I appreciate you, brother. And please, I want to say this to you publicly. Don't ever quit. Don't ever stop because the world is changed by you, by your influence. And you are a phenomenal man who's taking charge and we need you. We need what you're doing. So thank you for what you do. Thank you so much, Smartness. Everyone got blessed. Absolutely. God bless. God bless. And thank you all, my audience, for tuning in to the Gentleman Style Podcast show. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope this message has served you and I hope it has made you better for the better. And I hope you learned something today, if anything. And like I always end every show, take care of your friends, take care of your family and take care of business. This is Marcus Norman and Mr. Pang of Jetson signing off. Love you guys. Bye.